Debut new music this week. I love it. I love it. All right, it is 626. The Youngstown Business Incubator, Incubator spent part of last week showing off its latest toy, a ceramic 3D printer, once again pushing the limits of what additive manufacturing can really do. So this morning we're getting an idea of how unique this printer really is and what it can produce. The CD CEO of the Youngstown Business Incubator, Barb Ewing, is hanging out for Tech Belt today. Barb, good to see you. Good morning. Good yeah, you. and you brought a couple of things that it printed. I did. Uh, I picked one up just a second ago. It is a lot heavier than I thought it would they be. They are very dense, very compact. Part mm -hmm. of the um, what makes this machine so special is the fact that it is a um, very condensed form of printing so you don't have a lot of air pockets. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, you know, ceramics is, is not even probably the list of the top 10 things that they would think about uh, using a 3D printer on. How unique is that and what are some of the benefits of printing in ceramics? Well, to give you an idea of this particular machine from this manufacturer, um, we were the first to be um, to have one of these pieces of equipment in the in the North in North America mm -hmm. and um, we're still probably only one of four or five so it is truly a unique asset and most of those machines are actually being used by a specific company or a university for their projects we're the only one in North America right now where somebody can just come in and use that piece of equipment for whatever it is that they need to manufacture that is a, an incredible asset to have in our community in our here. community that is, yeah. It's, it's so great. Uh, what are some of the benefits to printing in ceramics? Or what are some of the uses, I guess, for it, too? Well, the, the real benefit is that they can withstand high temperatures. And so it's a very different type of product than you have if you're printing a polymer, obviously, that's going to melt, or a metal, which will just conduct the heat and mm -hmm. get very hot itself. So our understanding is that these can be used for things like biomedical applications, dental applications. Um, it's not being done yet, but bone adheres to ceramic better than it adheres to metal. So we think in the long term there are biomedical applications for bone replacements, those types of things. We also know that there are 5G applications, fuel cell applications. So truly just about any in any industry that um, either uses electricity or conducts heat um, can take advantage of this this type of printing not necessarily this machine but this type of printing it's amazing you feel like we're kind of on the cusp then uh, of this really exploding into the possibilities of, of what is out there with this we do absolutely the um, industry has been adopting metal printing and polymer printing for the last decade. You've seen a real uptick in that. We think that ceramic is the next application in, in industrial uses that you'll start to see entering the marketplace. I mean, we, we talk about it all the time about uh, staying uh, not even at the forefront of the technology, really kind of almost ahead of the technology yes. before it's uh, available uh, globally and worldwide. I mean, you mentioned that this was groundbreaking for our area of the world. Uh, how important is that? That, that the Youngstown Business Incubator and uh, the ecosystem here continues to be a, playing a leading role in that. It's absolutely crucial if we really do want to make Youngstown and Northeast Ohio the epicenter for additive manufacturing. And we say that all the time. This is where we want people to think of when they think of additive manufacturing, like you think of the Silicon Valley and software. And uh, the company that you worked with uh, on, with this printer and everything is from Israel, right? It is. So, I, I mean, does that show some of the global reach too? Absolutely. Um, Israel, Israel is known for the development of new technologies all around the world and the fact that they selected Youngstown and YBI as a place to deploy their very first piece of equipment in North America speaks volumes. Is, uh, how exciting is it to be involved in something like this? It's great. I mean, <laughs> it, not only is it the, the uh, being, bringing positive attention to the Mahoning Valley and to Youngstown specifically, um, but just meeting people from all over the world, getting new connections, learning new things, it's wonderful. It's a, a, truly a blessing. Do you, are you guys out of room at this point? Do you have We're, those things? Like every time I hear about something else, I'm like, how are they fitting everything? We're pretty close to being out of room. It's a it's a good problem to have, as they say, <laughs> but it's still a problem. Yeah, well, something that uh, that can be fixed at some point. So, Barb, great to see you as always. It's really cool stuff. Amazing to see you know what they're able to do now. Makes you wonder what'll be next, right? I'd always <laughs> always thinking of the next thing. Oh, can't wait to hear about it. All right, let's send things over to Emily Frazzini, taking a look at the forecast. That is the immediate next thing this morning. Yeah.